Hello Moglets, today we're talking about healers and whether you should give them HP percent or healing bonus percent. I'll say right off the bat that just for healing purposes, healing bonus is going to be better. And we will demonstrate that here before we move on to any sort of math or whatnot. I do want to say, however, that in some heroes cases like Chi Chi, her healing is actually based off of her attack. So let's go ahead and start with our Barbara here. She has a 28.9k HP. She has three HP artifacts. And we'll just do a simple test to see how much she heals. For this test, what we have to do is remove her plume because I would break the set when going to healing bonus and I don't want to give the HP an unfair advantage. So both healing will be with the two piece Maiden Beloved and instead of the four piece. So let's just take a look with our Binet here, first of all. 3167. Now we're just gonna do a quick little switcheroo to healing bonus. Uh, this one does have a bit of an advantage more than it should because it does have 9.3% HP there. It doesn't change the results that much, but it is something to note. All right, so we hurt our Bennett a little bit more, and we're going to check the healing now. And we got 38.03, so quite a, quite a decent jump there. Not like hugely massive or anything, but definitely higher. So now that we have the quick and dirty demonstration out of the way, let's go ahead and dive into a bit of math. So very similar to attack versus elemental damage, when it comes to HP versus healing bonus, it's kind of the same story. You can see we have about 8600 HP here, and this is what HP artifacts base themselves on, her base HP, not the combined total of all the other HP she gets from substats or main stat, etc. And this is why generally it's just inherently weaker. She currently has the healing bonus, which is a separate multiplier, very much like elemental damage is. So what I wanna do now is figure out her base healing without any sort of healing bonus, without that extra HP percent artifact, and then we'll see what she heals extra one versus the other. We already know healing bonus is better, but approximately by how much. And there's also the discussion that when you go HP percent, well, you have more HP and HP serves a function and not having you die as easily. <laughs> so we'll start with her pretty baseline 25.5 thousand HP. This is, you know, with a healing bonus artifact instead of HP as our sort of base. And when we go to our talents here, we're gonna we're also gonna use, you know, my current level nine and eight talents. So her let the show begin when it procs will heal 6.8% of her max HP, which is about 1700. And then she'll tack on an additional 783, which is around 2500. When it comes to her burst, Shining Miracle, she'll heal a much more 28.2% of max HP, which is 7,200, and then she'll tack on 3,100, which is 10,380. Now, if we were to give her an HP percent artifact, she'd gain 46.6% of her base HP, which is 4,042. So how much more would her Let the Show Begin heal with 4,042 more HP? The answer is 274. That sounds like a very low number. That's because it is. Her Shining Miracle does heal a bit more because it bases a lot more off of max HP. And 28.2% uh, of that 4,000, whatever it was, it'll be on screen anyway, is 1139. And then so her final theoretical heal with Let the Show Begin would be 2793 per tick. And with her burst, it would be 11,519. When we move over to healing bonus, however, we just have to take her base heals and increase them by the percent shown as it is a flat multiplier. Again, in this case, healing bonus is 35.9%. And when it comes to let the show begin, 35.9% of 2519 is a much more massive 904 boost versus the HP artifacts 274. Let's see if Shining Miracle holds up. The story is pretty much the same with Shining Miracle as 35.9% of 10,380, which is her base heal is a massive 3,726, which is over triple the 1,100 bonus we got from the HP artifact. And yeah, that's pretty much it as far as the on-paper stuff goes. Uh, of course, things, you know, there are quite a bit of variables, whether you're going to have two-piece or four-piece Maiden Beloved, you know, what the subsets are, like... For example, with this healing bonus piece, we also have 9.3% HP, which, you know, if we were just taking in all these different considerations, would make this sound even better than the HP percent, because there's obviously no HP percent substats on here. If you want your healer to heal as much as possible, it's obviously going to be healing bonus every single day. No exceptions. However, in some cases, like Binet, I don't feel like he actually needs healing bonus, even though he does heal or he can heal. He heals so super fast without it, and I'd rather him just deal more damage instead. Taking a look at his fantastic voyage here, 
Uh, it heals 10.8% of his max HP plus 1270. That is huge because it procs very fast as well and many times during his ult duration. I don't build mine with any HP and he still has over 20k. So just based on that is 2200 plus the 1200. You know, we're looking at close to 3500 per tick. And we can take a look at how quick that procs. That is actually insane. Of course, he can't heal more than, you know, 70% as just his inherent thing, which means, you know, for anyone that's hurting, you can get them up to that at least 70% in a snap. It may be a slightly different story if you're trying to heal high HP units. As you can see with Barbara here, I mean she still goes back up to healthy rather quickly and with plenty of time left on Bennett's ult there. This is all just to say that it depends from character to character. I would never give Bennett healing bonus as even without trying at all to make him a healer, he is still an incredible healer. The one exception of course is if you want to keep him low level and purely as a healer for some reason, uh, in that case yeah healing bonus might be an option. Then we have units like Chi Chi who base their heals on their attack. And just giving a quick look at what that looks like here at our measly level 5. It's almost 100% of her attack as the continuous regeneration, plus an additional 653. Now, of course, attack is harder to build up high numbers than it is with HP just because you get less and you have lower base by a lot. Even so, unless you have your Chi Chi at a high level with a like high level five star weapon, I still would go healing bonus. The one exception, of course, being if you're trying to make a DPS Chi Chi for some reason, then I guess. Maybe if you can stack her attack super high with the aforementioned high level plus high high five star weapon, then maybe attack percent would be good enough and she'd do more damage, but <laughs> yeah. Another thing to note obviously is that healing bonus will scale off of your max attack or HP, depending on what they scale off of via their skills because it just takes whatever she would heal and increases it by whatever her healing bonus is, right? So naturally, the more attack Chi Chi has or the more HP Barbara has, etc, etc, the more effective healing bonus is going to be. So that's why, in general, unless you really need energy recharge from the uh, sands, you go HP, HP, healing bonus, or attack, attack, healing bonus. Then there's characters like Noelle, which base their healing off of defense, and it's pretty much the same story if you want her to be mostly a healer and giving her defense defense healing bonus will also make her quite tanky so yeah that's pretty much it if you have any thoughts or further things you think i left out um that are important you can drop them in the comments down below but i think the long and short of it is that one healing bonus will always be better for pure healing and two it depends if your healers are healing enough without healing bonus then of course they will benefit more from hp or attack or whatever other stat you want to give them on circlet because healing bonus does just that increases heals but from the more in-depth barber math we did healing bonus heals a lot more than hp and that may not have been super truthfully represented in the uh in game examples because there were some other variables going on as well but yeah that'll do it make sure to leave a like on this video if you did happen to enjoy thanks as always for watching and until next time i want to give a huge shout out to i don't exist for being my very first mega moglet here as a channel member as well as my five dollar or more a month patrons that don't wish to remain anonymous artorius s ordinary corbin g Hevlostka, the dark side zero and ursula r thank you guys very much for your support